Hey. Hey, cool. Where are you from? Me? Yeah. Where are you from? You go first. Mm, Indian. Okay. Yeah, I am from India. And you? Yeah. You didn't. You didn't. Why didn't you want to say? What? Uh, why, why didn't you want to say you're from India? Yeah, I'm from India. I wanted you to guess. Yeah, I know. And you? So you're not proud of being Indian? Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> what are you saying? I am proud of being Indian. Yeah, I, I said, where are you from? You said, um, you say first. No, I and... said, yeah, you. Ah, I say, I say, where are you from? Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. So, where, where exactly from India? Uh, where are you from? No, no, no. You, Mumbai. No, you? I told you. Now you, it's your turn. You have to. No, no. I have to ask you first and then you ask me. I am from the... I am not... Not every Indian lives in Mumbai or Delhi. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. India is bigger than just Mumbai and Delhi. So, I am from the eastern part of India. Yeah. Calcutta. So, have you heard of Calcutta? Calcutta? Uh, not really. New Delhi is the current capital of current capital of India. Yeah. Calcutta was before. Before Calcutta was capital. Now yeah. New Delhi is capital. No, it was. I think it's it was Mumbai, uh, Mumbai, and then New Delhi. No, no, no. It was Calcutta, then New Delhi. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Is so the old capital of India. One hundred years ago, for example. Yeah. 70, 80 years ago, Calcutta was capital. Yeah, yeah. What's the time now in India? It's morning, 6 in the morning. Oh, why are you uh, waking up so early? Uh, it's uh, like I can work from home, so. Oh, like, you work from home? Like we can, like a business, that kind of stuff. So, uh, uh, what do you work? Uh, where are you from? You are just asking me yeah, questions. Yeah, man, I, I'll give not... you all you want. I'll give you all you want, but I'm, I'm interested to know what, what do you work? I like, I like, it's like a business, but you tell me first, you like, I have told you a lot. Now it's your turn. No. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll let you know. I have just this question and one more question and then I'll let you ask. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, my question is what do you work and, uh, because you look, you look young. Yeah. So it's like our family business and that kind of stuff. Ah, okay, okay. So, uh, one last question. You are Hindu. Yeah. You are Hindu. Yeah. Okay, so you. I'm not you really. No, my parents are Hindu, but I don't really identify with any particular ah. religion. So you can you can call me. I am free from every religion, or you can also call me that I am a mixture of a lot of other religions that mix. Yeah. Whichever you so, prefer. Yeah, and 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 you don't you don't hate Muslims. No, oh, why should I hate Muslims? I think Hindu hate Muslims. No, no, no. It's not true. Some may do it, but it's for not everybody. So, um, uh, uh, Narendra, Narendra Modi's party hate Muslims. I, I don't know, man. I am not much into politics. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Uh, so, where are okay. you from? I'm from Egypt. Egypt. Cairo? Yeah. Cairo. Yes, but not from... every every Egyptian people live in Cairo. So, As... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know like Cairo. That's the only city I know about Egypt. Alexandria. You live in Alexandria. You know it. No, no. Now I know. Like it's like it's like Mumbai in Egypt. Oh, Alexandria. It's, it's a huge city. Yeah. Have you ever seen the pyramids? Yeah, many times. Huge, right? Yeah, they are huge. Ah. Uh, I see in videos, people go near to those pyramids and they look like ants. Yeah, yeah, they are very large. So the pharaohs built them like mm. as tombs for their kings. Kings. How and did they make them? Do you have any idea? No. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Scientists have a lot of different theories, but nobody really knows. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, how old are you? How old are you? Okay, man. Just I give you one question, you give me one question. Yeah. I'm 24. I'm 24. Wow. 
Yeah, your beer tells me. Yeah, and you? Guess. Fifteen. Really think I am fifteen? Yeah. No. Twelve. <laughs> How young can you get? Nine? No, twelve. <laughs> You really think I'm twelve? I'm opposite of twelve. <laughs> opposite of twelve? Yeah, really? Yeah. No, no, you're yeah. not. Yeah, I am. You're too. You're too young. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm you're really. Not, you're not. You're not over twenty. You're not. I am. And next year, no, not yeah. this year. In November, I'll turn twenty-two. Yeah, and uh, what do you study? Uh, like I, I'm. I'm kind of done with my formal studies, but I can yeah. I study from home. Okay, my like I keep I like to keep educating myself. That kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like good, English, it's I really like English. Uh, you go on. S sorry. No, I was saying that I like English a lot. Yeah. So. No, no. I mean, I mean, you, you, you just finished your high school and you just. No, I finished uh, my high school. I did one year of college. Then I kind of joined, the family business. Ah okay, mm. okay. So what do, what do you work? What do your family work? It's like a, a medium, like a restaurant. Restaurant, okay. Mm. Uh, so, but why you left university? <sighs> why did I leave? I liked the university. I did did. It was three years of course, but I did one year um, of mechanical engineering, and then I left. Actually, I did. Actually, I finished. It's a long story. I finished my tenth. Then I did one year of college. Then yeah. I thought I should do the other two years of school. That's why I left yeah. college and I never joined again because I didn't uh, didn't really needed to. So yeah, yeah. That's Even why. if you if you have finished your degree, you will work in the restaurant again. Yeah. So so it doesn't so, matter. Yeah, it doesn't didn't really yeah, matter. Yeah. And mechanical engineering is um, some kind of hard. It's not hard if you like if you are interested. But so what do you do? Um, computer science. Computer science. Yeah. Python, Java, C, C plus plus, JavaScript, PHP. Yeah. A yeah. Lot of programming of languages. The... Yeah, I'm doing masters in programming language. Masters. In uh, masters in computer science. Masters in computer science. Yeah. Now you are sitting up. <laughs> Yeah, because, I <laughs> because know. this is important. Important, right? <laughs> yeah. No, no, my back, my back hurts, so I, mm. I have to. Uh, I should also get some water. It's over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Go I'll ahead. Get later. I cannot reach it now. It may not. Yeah. It may look it's close, but it's really like it's heavy. I know. Go, go, go. Go and get. I'll it. get later. Later. Not. I'm not really later. that thirsty. I'm kind of. Yeah, yeah, but you have to drink water uh, now and every now and then, so mm -hmm. it's good for your health. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. And when when will you open your restaurant? Uh it's not that interesting, but uh, like what like what like what did you study? Like how much did you study? What do you mean? How much? How, how many years? Um. Like what you said, like I did 10th, then one year of college, then 12th. What about you? Sorry, say, say it again. <clears throat> like I did 10th, then I did one year of college. Then I did uh, two, then I again did what two is, years of what school. The, what is the 10th? What is the 10th? Huh? You did what? Like I did 10 years of school. school. 10 years, ah, 10 years of school. Ah, okay. School. I was in school for 10 years. Then I did yeah. the one year of college. Then I did... Like two years of school again. So, what about you? Yeah, I did uh, twelve years of school. Yeah. Uh, five years. Uh, computer science engineering. And you are in which year? No, I I finished bachelor. Oh. It was bachelor five. Bachelor in and Egypt now, is five now, years. Now I'm doing masters. And uh, I after after bachelor's I'm doing masters on my in my first year. So I still have one and a half year, maybe or two years. Yeah. Are you mastering in programming language? Like what are you? There are many different branches in computer science. 
So what software so, software engineering? Like, do are you into hacking or that kind of stuff? No, no, no. No. This is uh, this kind of um, it related to cyber security measure, and I'm not. Uh, you are in cyber security. No, no, I'm not. You're not. But do you know software software engineering building building websites and building uh, websites. program and computer programs and yeah building websites computer programs I think you have to design apps right maybe I also I can design apps but I'm I'm not interested in apps uh, I I'm interested in web apps not app, uh, not mobile apps like computer apps. Your computer app like desktop as apps like VLC yeah that kind of and uh, on the and uh, internet uh, mm. web application web application wow web application like Omega Amazon Omega um, oh. Facebook Facebook everything Facebook everything is now it. called meta I think right yeah meta. yeah yeah metaverse Metaverse is uh, one project for Meta. Mm -hmm. So they're having mm -hmm. Meta Facebook and they're having Meta Instagram and they're having Meta WhatsApp and they are planning to do Metaverse. So have you like tried uh, those VR goggles? I tried them once, but uh, because my eyes are hurt, me, hurts me a lot uh -huh. when exposed to a lot of light. Uh -huh. Actually, so that's really like close, that. very close to your eye. Like, very close, and it, it emits a lot of light in, in, in your eyes. It's a very intense amount of light, so like, I, I like, don't like it. makes you uncomfortable. For me, it's uncomfortable, really uncomfortable. But I, never, maybe for... I never tried that, so I, want, I asked you to get some experience from you. Yeah, I know. I just, it was in a um, <clears throat> university lab. Mm. So uh, one of my friends was uh, doing a project with it. So I uh, just take it from him, and it uh, the light hurt uh, my my eyes. So I didn't yeah take it for a long time. So the, I have a phone. The light hurts a lot. I cannot look at it for more than one minute or like yeah. that. But I have yeah, another exactly. phone. But it's like I can look at it for like the whole day. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe the company was not very good. Maybe, maybe that was uh, not a good one. But mm -hmm. yeah, but that can be it. But because a lot of people spend a lot of time on these things, so if it yeah, was... if you look at even even if uh, if you look at a very good mobile phone for a long time, your eyes hurt. Yeah. So they say that. You... What's your What's your name? My name it's Tripto. Spell it. Tripto. Tripto. Yeah, yeah, Tripto. It's Tripto, an okay. unique Indian names are like Indian names will look odd to you, but my name is even odder, like more unique, even in India. Yeah, yeah. For Indian people, my name is also unique. Yeah, Very yeah. unique. What's your name? Yeah. Uh, Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman. <laughs> you don't. You don't have Muslim friends. Abdra. No, no. You have Muslim friends. Like you... where I live, here you will not easily see some Muslims. So no. Uh, okay, okay. So if you have Muslim friends, you will find their name Abdurrahman uh, Abdullah. Like I'm, I cannot even start start pronouncing pronouncing it. Like it's so because this this letter a a it's not in Indian. So if you can call it so Abd 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 Abdur Rahman Abdur Rahman. But yeah. Abd Rahman Abd Rahman. Pass. You know pass. Abd Rahman. You know pass. Pass is Indian, yeah. Bas. Pass. Abd Rahman pass. Ah. It's it's Arabic as well. <laughs> hmm. uh, namaste. 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 It's namaste. actually Namaste, but Americans say Namaste. It's actually Namaste. No, Americans say Namaste. 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 But Indians say Namaste. namaste. 
Namaste. Namaste. And uh, and do you do you every day touch your uh, your father's and mother's leg? No, 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 no. <laughs> Because I see this a lot in movies. Yeah, movies. It's possible in movies, but in real life, it's not that common. But maybe if you know you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah, fathers like like and uh, like yeah, that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, like that. And yeah. you you bend bend down to to their legs and touch them and yeah, they will like uh, um, bless you. Yeah, but it's like not that common. But people will do it. Maybe with maybe if they are going for an interview or that kind of stuff for a job interview, they'll do yeah. it. Oh, okay. Like for okay. special <laughs> events. They but in everyday in everyday life they don't no 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 at least i don't and my friends don't yeah and i also want to ask about um, what i see different you seem very interested in, in indian culture yeah i see i have seen when i was young i've seen a lot a lot of movies bollywood movies indian movies bollywood? yeah since in since Hindi? amitabh bachchan oh. since amitabh bachchan and shahrukh khan and Shahrukh khan. yeah how did you understand yeah. those movies Uh, they are uh, translated to Arabic. Oh, like uh, dubbed? No, I see. Surely, surely. Surely. Amitabh Bachchan movie. Yeah, there is the Amitabh Bachchan. Oh my God, this. Like it. And uh, Mard. Mard. Yeah, you know it. Um, maybe I don't really That know one... it. Ah, he was he was like um, coming coming out with two um, characters, the son and the father. And this was during, this was seen. during the English the English col- col- colonization of India. I don't know, man. But yeah, yeah. did you hear them? I, I I I guess I guess I know uh, more India more old Indian movies than you. Yeah, because I I used to to see a lot. And Shahrukh Khan, Sanjay Dutt, hmm. uh, Amitabh Bachchan, um, uh, Arshwarya Rai. Yeah, Arshwarya Rai. <laughs> Amitabh Bachchan has a son called Abhishek Bachchan, and his wife is Aishwarya Aishwarya Rai. Okay. Aishwarya. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Karina Kapoor. Yeah. And um, what else? I know. I know many. Ah, and the best is Amir Khan. I, Amir I Khan. love this man. Three idiots, right? Amir Khan. Yeah. Three idiots. He he uh, had Danga. gone. Did did you see the Don't movie Three Idiots? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's my favorite Bollywood movie. It's the the best. Um, Three Idiots. Um, PK. PK. Uh, mm-hmm. Dangal. Dangal. So can you see? Can you hear them in Hindi or you just read the subtitles? No, no, subtitles. Subtitles. Yeah. You And still enjoy them one... so much. Sorry. You still enjoy them so much. Yeah, yeah, I still definitely. Wow, like, uh, like a... watching an in... it's like watching an English movie with the subtitle. Y- y- like you, you see English movies with subtitles in Arabic. Yeah. Wow, like, I have never tried that, but I saw some Hollywood movies. These days, I prefer to watch them English, but before, way before, I watched them some of them in Hindi. Like, ah, uh, it's, like it's not dub. that good. No, the dubbing is not good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But but subtitles is subtitles much we, much better. You will get the idea. Yeah, yeah, it's much better. So um, there was a, a another movie for Amir Khan hmm. with a with a young with a young student hmm. who was like uh, in in a, in 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 what's it called in our school or or a school away from his. You know, you know this movie with a with a young guy who is uh, like his teeth like this, and uh, he was like painting. That is Zaman Par. Yeah. That was the movie. That is Zaman Par. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a like a yeah. sad. Movie. Say it again. Say it again. That is Zaman Par. Do you know what that means? No. Um, that means starts. Zaman means ground. Par means at. Uh, that means, like stars are at ground. It's kind of like that. Tar is the main part. But I think I don't think this is the same movie I'm talking about. 
like there was a young i mean there in that movie there was amir khan and there was a young boy with like that kind of teeth right yes and then it's tar- tarism and, and he was like he left his his uh, father and mother and went to a um, hostel a school yeah, yeah boarding school. school right boarding school yeah like, yeah exactly uh, yeah that, this is the movie i have seen that and it was like he he found out his talent in uh, in painting yeah 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 this this movie i i, I like uh, much like it yeah, like, I, it, i like it i like it uh, but i enjoyed it i think like i can watch that in hindi and understand yeah yeah i i also understand everything from subtitles yeah but i think i enjoyed it much more than you because i could hear mm-hmm. it and understand yeah yeah i know but uh, i i don't think it's it, it differs that much when you read subtitles mm-hmm. because i i like yeah but, but there is a problem if you if you are watching a movie and you are also reading subtitles okay you are reading subtitles you you cannot li- really look at them and see right? okay okay i think i don't i don't think you are like 10 years ago you you was you was able to um, watch um, american movies mm-hmm. so did you watch american movies when you yeah. are when you are young yeah yeah with or without subtitles like i when as these days i watch english movies in english in english but all days all days i watch them in hindi so i understood oh no so in in it's not all uh, all all um, all the movies are not interpreted in arabic english movies so when i was young mm. when i just started to read arabic i i was watching english movies with subtitles ah so for us it's like it it, it will not um, like it will not differ a lot between uh, english or uh, or hindi hindu Uh, hindi, hindi. Uh, hindi is the hindi. language so yeah yeah we say hindi in yeah. arabic it's hindi mm-hmm. so um so from long time ago i used to like uh, watch foreign movies in uh, in subtitles wow and wow. i and i understand i everything so but now because i know um, uh, i know english now english and i can so it's like easier to uh, to to watch movies from uh, without like, subtitles uh, like you can directly watch them with directly, no need yeah. of si- subtitles okay it's not that good because you are sometimes you are missing some words when they are spoken like very fast or something i think you yeah i generally write problem. it down write them down or take screenshots like if there are subtitles english subtitles available i'll turn them on and i'll take the screenshot or i'll write the words down so if i oh, whenever are... i get a new word i try to note it down that's it yeah 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 but it's not that good to just stop the movie and start writing and memorizing yeah i know this is good for you for you to improve your english yeah but when you when you watch a movie it's you want to like get involved and you don't want to get distracted writing down uh, so that's a bummer i think yeah so if if a good movie if i want to see a good movie i see it with subtitles because it's easier for me to like uh, don't um, give much care about listening every word and and so so mixing between understanding english and reading makes mm. it perfect i think you are a, like a book person like you like to read a lot am i right uh i don't think so but when you when you um uh, watch a movie it's it's his only way so if you have an indian movie so it's your only way to read the subtitles otherwise you will not understand yeah so indian movie do do you do you have Sharp time and... for movies these days uh not exactly yeah because i can guess like you are doing your masters right you are 24 20 24 yeah 24 and you are doing masters which year uh first year first year so you will hardly have like indian movies are like too long no no indian movies <laughs> long time ago when yeah, i was a child long time ago but so you cannot even yeah, yeah. think about that i um, i i think about them um when just like a very good movie come out so ah. for example amir khan uh, like uh, published a new movie yeah, nowadays yeah what is that lal singh chadda i think 
Yeah, I think it, it's causing a lot of problems and they are uh, accusing him of being, I don't know, because it's like an Indian soldier who saved a Pakistani soldier during the war. They are accusing of being what? What is that? I don't know. Uh, I want to know. You don't know about it. No. I heard I heard like uh, I, I heard that, that uh, trailer. So it was about uh, no, no. Uh, I heard about it from news because uh. they are saying uh, Indians protest uh, against Amir Khan for uh, being a traitor or something like that because he he uh, he, he published a movie about uh, Indian soldiers saving um, Pakistani soldier during the war, and I don't know, but they accusing him him of being like um, uh, uh, being a, saying like a, bad words. Yeah. Saying bad words about the the, the uh, Indian uh, army and so on, so I don't get it. But mm. yeah, whatever. I like Amir Khan and I like yeah. what he yeah. what he, he provides, what he gives. I think he makes a good actor. Like he's a good actor. He's a very good. And he mm. he likes his um. He he do his best in his movies. So like mm-hmm. in Dangal, for example, he changed his shape during the movie. Yeah, he, so he got like... Got weight. Yeah, some weight. Put some weight. Yeah, exactly. Like, so he's how very, does, he's like, very creative. Like they do it so fast. Like they gain weight, they lose weight. But normal people, when you try to lose weight... Take years. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but Amir Khan is very insistent. He, he just um, takes a very hard diet or, or so. Mm. Because he likes what he do, what he does, mm-hmm. so he is very devoted to his work, and mm. he just gives uh, one one movie each three, two or three years, but very good quality. Really? Yeah. Like he will only do movies in two to th- two to three years. I think so. Because ah. I I don't hear every year, for example, about for a movie for him. Like a long time ago, Amitabh Bachchan, for example, makes two or three movies in one year. Yeah. Maybe. There are people in Bollywood who will make like... Yeah, I hear Bollywood are making... Maybe six movies in like a year. More than, there are people yeah, like I hear that. Bollywood, Bollywood are making like more than 1,000 movies a year. I think Bollywood produces the most amount of movies. Yes. All around the world. You but know. I think uh, I think the quality of Indian movies uh, have like improved. Improved, yeah, because, it's de- definitely improved. Because long time ago, I, I know, I know, it still exists this kind of movies that when the hero give a punch for uh, for someone, it takes him like. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, but I think it, yeah, I think it still exists, but uh, they are uh, they are not a lot. Yeah. Comparing to but like ba- budget increased. So camera quality, is, camera quality yeah. and everything in. Got because it. I think it's a very good source of money, so they give care to it. Mm. Bollywood mm. is making a lot of money every year. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like. Yeah. So, did you visit it's any big, other? Big industry. Definitely. Sorry? What time is it in Egypt? I'm not in Egypt. Then. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Germany. But you are from Egypt. From Egypt, but I'm doing masters in Germany. Masters in Germany. Like, do you yeah. live with your friends? Like, no, I live. I live alone. Like, in India, people like when they ha- when they move out and they have to study. Yeah. Some of them get together and live together. That's how. Like, if they rent an apartment, they don't have to pay. Like, they divide it the money into. Like in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, I'm, you I'm living in a room. Oh. I'm living in a dorm. In a dorm, 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 dormitory. Yeah. Dormitory. Mm-hmm. So, what is my question? What is the time over there? It's uh, 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Yeah. And you don't have to sleep. I uh, I can't sleep. No. Why not? I don't know. This Omegle takes a lot of time. Omegle, you can get some. Like, do you need English in your studies? Yeah, I'm studying. My study is in English. Oh, uh, then you will. I think Omega is good for you. Practice. Yeah, you will get some practice definitely. 
No, I, I I think my English is good for for study because in a study you don't need uh, you don't need right you, you need some terms for engineering ah uh, jargon so, so they are easy I'm like, uh, you don't for need everyday to know life my English my English is enough I think for enough. everyday life ah uh. yeah I think so like how do you then talk with other people other students how do you talk with them in English English yeah. Ah, they. Where are they from? Your friends. Sorry. Like your your friends. Do you have friends over there? Yeah. So where are they from? Most of them are from Egypt. Egypt. Wow. Yeah, I have uh, Indians, Pakistanis. Indian friends. Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Pakistanis and. Uh, Tunisian. Tunisian. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think that's all. I uh, have from different nationalities, but they are not uh, like I, I don't meet them mm. every day, for example. Or so. so what language do you use when you talk with Egyptians, like Egyptian friends? Arabic. 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 And but yeah. if you have to talk with Indians, then you have to talk in English. English. Yeah. Uh, only with Egyptian friends, you can talk in Arabic. Right. No, uh, and many Arab Arab students. Yeah, yeah. Arabic uh, Arab students. So, Saudi Arabia, United mm. uh, Emirates, um, Qatar, mm. Bahrain. Yeah. Yemen. So is Yemen. that in, <laughs> like the le le lecture room? Is that huge? Yeah, it's very huge. How many students does it have uh, in, in your class? More than five. 500 maybe more than 500 right yeah uh, so yeah in our school we had like how many 60 but when you Six. move to like how many did you have in your school like in your uh, school in the classroom yeah near, near 60 near 60 yeah oh no i uh in, 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 yeah i think it's like uh, three by 30, 40. 40. Yeah. Uh, so High school, I think. Yeah. I think less than less than forty. Less than forty. But when uh, in primary school, mm. I think sixty or something. Ah, uh, so did you? Because uh, not not m many people continue to take high school. Uh. So number decreases every year. So. Ah, <laughs> uh, so. You are in Germany for one year. Two years? Ah, uh, now? For now, it's one year, yeah. One year. So, do you like, do you feel homesick sometimes? Yeah. Right, happens, right? Many times, yeah. Like, what do you think of, like, uh, like, like, you think of your mom? Yeah, yeah, not, not that much, but, uh, yeah, it comes now and then because uh, during my bachelor, I was in a different city. Mm. So I'm used to this. Oh yeah. So uh, I'm away from my family for a long time. So. So if I, di I was I, my college was very close to my home. So I could just travel with train, and it will just take yeah. half an hour maybe. Then I'll be at my college. So uh, it was not a problem. In Egypt, it's a different city. So it was in Cairo, and I'm not from Cairo. So. So you had to move there. Have to move. Uh, so you okay, bro? Nice to meet. It was yeah. nice to meet you. I think you need to sleep now. Yeah, maybe. So mm. nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Maybe, too. maybe we meet some other time. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See you. Bye. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, how are you? You didn't go to sleep. No, I can't. Why not? Yeah. So I want to ask you five questions and <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Um, what was your name again? Uh, your name was Abraham, I think. Ab Abdurrahman. 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 So your God, uh, I think your father's God is Raja and. Um, and uh, um, Raja and what? Restaurant. No, no, God, God, God. 
Hindu, the Hindu god. The Hindu god. God, Hindu, yeah. Hindu, Hindu, Hindu says Hindus, Ram. Ram, yes. Ram, Raja, and uh, Hindus have three major gods. No. Yeah. Ram is not one of them. Ram is not one of them. No, it's Vishnu, and Ram is an avatar of Vishnu. But Ram is not a Ram is a human avatar of Vishnu. But it's it's okay. Vishnu, Brahma, and Shiva. 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 Brish, yeah. Vishnu. I have a friend. Vishnu, I have Shiva, a friend called Shivanish. What what is he called? It's it is Indian. It's called Shivanish. 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 Yeah. It's a boy. Yeah. Ah. So it's I think it's it's coming from Shiva. I think so. A lot like so, over here, a lot of people call Shiva, Shiva. Yeah, I want what I want to explain. So you have Shiva as a god. Ah. We have a Rahman as a god. How many gods do you have in Egypt? Wait, 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 wait. Just uh, I'm explaining my name and I'll tell you. Ah. So um, a Rahman. So my name is Abdul Rahman. Ah. Abdul Rahman. Ah. Mean, means means uh, worship of a Rahman. Okay, so Rahman is your so, god. So we live in only one god. Who is that? Uh, it's called Ar Rahman or Allah. Allah. Oh, like you are, you are, you are, Islam, like Muslim. Islam, exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm Muslim. So Muslim people so, only believe in one god. One god. And this god we can see, we can touch, we can. It's just a spiritual thing. So like you can just you feel. Like, can you feel? Yeah, I think you can go to Ram and touch it in in, in Hindu temple. No, you are just touching the sta you are just touching the statue. The statue. Yeah, but exactly. We don't have the statue. Yeah, you yeah, don't we, have any don't. like any structure of the god. No. The, mm. For example, Christianity they have a crest. Yeah, the cross. They have the cross. The cross. Mm. But we don't have any. So and we we can't like make photos or uh, mm. because it's forbidden photos or statues or anything of this because uh, like because Allah is great so we can't like have photo of him or but you have a name name of the God you don't really know the God but you have a name this name the God gave for himself so we didn't give him his name so. He says, I'm the God and my name is Allah, Ar-Rahman. He has like 100 names. 100 okay. names? 100 names? Wow. But they are like, they are like uh, properties. So, for example, he's called, uh, my name is Abdul Rahman. Mm -hmm. Ar-Rahman means uh, he's merciful. Merciful. Merciful, yeah. Rahman means merciful. Merciful, like he's... Uh, yeah, and his name also is uh, As Salam. As Salam means peace. Peace. So yeah, so Allah is peace and gives peace. So Allah means peace. Allah, Allah is there is another name for Allah is As Salam means peace. As Salam means peace. Peace. So peace, what does yeah. what does Allah mean? Allah means God. This is uh, the Just pure name. This is a purest name of uh, mm -hmm. of our God. It's called Allah. Wow. Okay. So um, there is no one in the world that can be named Allah. Uh, oh, like you cannot name your son Allah. No, we, we can't name uh, my son Allah. We can name it Abdullah, like Abdul Rahman. But it means worshiper, it... worshiper of Allah. So nobody on earth is called Allah. And this is unique for Allah. But you can you name your son Rahman? We can't. I think in India and so on they call him Rahman. They, but it's not. It's not good. So you can just name him Abdul Rahman, Abdullah, Abdu. Uh -huh. This part of Abdu worshiper. So I'm a worshiper of Allah. I'm a worshiper of Rahman, and uh, other guy. I think in India they, they there is a good YouTuber. I was I was like studying with him computer science called Abdul Bari. Al Bari Al Bari means creator. Abdul Bari. 
Ali Abdul Abdal. Is it Ali Abdal? No, no. What? No, it's not Ali Abdal, right? No, no. Ali, no. Ali, no, Ali is another name. Uh, it's not the name of God. Okay. So we have ninety-nine names. One name is like only for Allah. No one can be called Allah. This is called Allah. And we have also ninety-nine uh, names. They are properties for Allah. So, for example, um, Ar-Razzaq means uh, who gives his um, his worshippers uh, like they they food and drink. What I I can't explain this in, in English, mm -hmm. but means um, like what what gives us all all blessings in the world. So this means a razak. We have also um, we have many names. We have the Great Al Azim. The Great is another name for Allah. Mm -hmm. Many different names. Wow. So do you yeah. spend time on like worshiping or that kind of? Uh, we have we have five times a day. You do it? Where we pray? Yeah, I do it. Wow. E you can take time out from your busy schedule. schedule. Yeah, yeah, it's obligatory. Yeah, so it's it's like ten minutes every every like timing. So we have five timings in the morning, early morning, in um, in in, in uh, midday, uh, afternoon, and night, and before midnight. Yeah, but this is not required by any law. Right, like it's it's not by optional. Yeah, it, optional. I think it's 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 like obligatory. I think isn't it not optional? by law? Not not by, by law. Then not I by don't law, think everyone does it. Everyone doesn't. Not everyone does it, but it's uh, it's like a, a sin if you don't do it. Sin, right? It's a sin because Allah Allah is makes this obligatory. So there is some kind of works you do. Some of them are obligatory, not by law, yeah. but obligatory to do. If you if you call yourself a Muslim, so you have to do this. So there are five five things you you have to do as a Muslim. First of thing, first thing you you called a shahada. So you say um, in Arabic. No, I'll tell it. I'll tell you of English. So I. Um, I believe that there is no God but one God. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe that his prophet is uh, Muhammad. I, I think you know Muhammad. Yeah, what does that mean actually, Muhammad? Muhammad is a prophet of Allah. <laughs> prophet of Allah. Yeah, I think because you don't, uh, you don't have Muslim friends, so you don't know about it, and you don't have Muslim community in your city. So, yeah, yeah in, but... in, in India, you, will, you have to look for them. Then you will find Muslim, but you will mostly see Hindu people in India. Yeah. Okay. So first thing is you have to become a Muslim. So mm -hmm. you have to say that you believe in no God, mm -hmm. but one God. This God is Allah and the, his prophet is Muhammad. Mm -hmm. And second thing is you pray these five times. You have to do to be a Muslim. Okay. That sounds hard. Uh, that sounds difficult. Yeah. No, really it's not hard. difficult. It's not hard. Like, uh, third thing. Uh, let me continue. Fifth, third okay. thing is. Third thing is. Uh, I don't ah, you have every year to get out some money mm. from your wealth for the poor people. Okay. Like 2.5% from your money every year. You get out to give the poor. Okay, this is third thing. To be a Muslim, you you have to do this. Uh, there is one month in a year. You know, you have heard about Ramadan. Yeah. Ramadan. They, so this probably Ramadan, people will fast, right? Fast. fast. Exactly. From down till uh, sunset, sun uh, sunset. Yeah. Huh. You don't eat or drink. Or do any any bad thing like uh, don't lie, don't uh, like uh, uh, don't cheat, don't do anything bad, don't uh, like uh, look to women, for example, uh, in a bad way. I oh. mean, yeah, 
don't uh, make love with your woman during this time. Uh, don't uh, don't like insult anyone. Don't do any bad thing mm. from this from down till uh, some set. And they have to fast for one day in that month. No, the whole month. Like they have to, they cannot eat anything in the whole month. The whole month from down to the. It's just like a boot camp for the whole year. So it's just making you ready to to have the whole year. So it it makes your tongue doesn't say anything bad during this month. It makes your uh, spirit like uh, connected to Allah for this month by doing worships and doing uh, good things. It's difficult for non-Muslims, I I know, but <laughs> for Muslims it's like this Normal. is a. It's a bit, this is no. This is the best month in the year. This Ramadan. But they cannot eat anything in the month. Like no. After after sunset till dawn, you can eat, drink, do whatever you want. Oh, after sunset you can eat. Yeah. In the but whole from month. From down. From down. From dawn. From down to sunset. Yeah. You don't do. You don't do. Other than that, you. Oh, like you from, eat, you from, drink. From you dawn to eat, sunset, you, you cannot eat. Uh, can you drink in that time? No, 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 sorry. From sunset to sundown. From sunset to dawn, like in the night time. You know, you know the meaning of dawn. Dawn, dawn like the when the dawn. like sunrise, sunrises. Before, right? before sunrise, before. Before sunrise, like the before when sunrise. the light has just. Like when you can just see the light, it's called dawn. I you, think. The beginning, the very beginning of the light. Hmm. Okay. Till the sun uh, sunset. When when like during the sun, you don't do any of this. Like but if when, the, if the sun, sun is up, you cannot eat or drink. Yeah, from the beginning till the end of the sun. Like during the daytime. During the daytime, yeah. You cannot eat or drink. You cannot even drink. You can't even oh, drink. Bro, it's hard. It's very really hard. You, ah. So you you make yourself ready by drinking a lot of water during uh, during the non-fasting time. So you can endure this during the fasting time. I think it will make you appreciate what you have. Like Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And... Make it for make you feel what the people uh, what the poor people uh, suffer from during having not because poor people sometimes they have one day or two days they don't have any food to eat mm. so it's just like feeling how no first of all it's it's an order from Allah so we have to accept it but this order have some uh, like meanings so why we are doing this one of them is like you know so there's some poor people who don't have food or who don't have uh, good water to drink during the year. So you can appreciate what is God giving for you. And like uh, when you get you get some part of your money to give them as third condition I told you. So you give it like uh, with a cold heart and you see that like they need this money and Allah has given you this money so you can give some of it to the poor people. This is the uh, fourth one. And the fifth one is, you know, uh, Saudi Arabia. They have the holy city of Mecca. Saudi Arabia, right? <clears throat> it's in Africa. <clears throat> no, in, in Asia. Oh, sorry. Yeah. In so Asia. they have a, yeah, they have a holy city of Mecca. Mm. So they have... Um, a place there that we have to at least at least if you can because you know traveling is hard nowadays and so on and you can um, requires a lot of money so this this one is conditional so if you have the money you have to do this you have to visit this place to be a muslim if you haven't if you don't have the money so it's okay so it's conditional on your ability no not not only money your ability. So if you have money and you can't because you are sick or ill, like you can't go, so it's you you don't need to go. But if you can go, if you can go, money 
health and everything and you you just don't have any reason to prevent you from going so it's it's not good not to go like what's there in Mecca so there is a place uh, called the Kaaba 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 yeah this Kaaba is a place said to uh, one of the prophets of uh, Allah mm-hmm. Allah asked him to build this it's called it's like a house so Allah asked ordered him to be uh, to build this house for people for Muslims to gather from all over the world to meet each other and uh, worship Allah in this place for a certain amount of time mm. during it it's called it's one month it's one day in one month where all Muslims all over the world meet in this place how many it's sometimes it exceeds two or three millions I think it's a huge like huge gathering yeah it's huge you can search for it it's called Mecca Me- so it's they gather one year one day in the year where they like um, do some some acts all of them are considered worships different kind of worships and uh, yeah so this is the fifth condition to be a muslim uh, that's it only five conditions only five conditions and you become a muslim and there is not obligatory things I think that's the hardest. Like uh, for me, most difficult will be um, Ramadan. I think so. I think like for one month straight, you cannot eat, drink for in the daytime, and then for the... it's like for 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 fifteen for fourteen or fifteen hours. Yeah, you cannot. And the second most difficult, fifty minutes every day. Uh, 50 minutes every day, yeah. Every day. 50 minutes But, every day, almost one hour every day. Let's say seven, hour, seven hours in a week. Uh, seven times in a week, so, so seven, five hours. Oh, week. sorry. As, like, you have to do it five times. It's almost one hour every day, okay. Yes, so seven, seven hours every week, yeah. Well, yes, seven hours, yeah. So I was right. But man, you can calculate it. Yeah, you was right. If you calculate it, so Allah gave us 24 hours a day. Mm. So Allah created you and he just is as we believe. So Allah gave us all this blessing in our life. So the good job is from Allah. The good food is from Allah. The good health, uh, the place where you live. Mm. Everything is this, uh, Allah gave us. It's not sometimes, sometimes you... I don't know if you if you found this, but for me, sometimes I, I, I have some blessings in my life that if if it was for me, if it was me, I couldn't have achieved all of this. So now I, I have like succeeded in my in my studies. And so you have I think you had some friends who are. who no, this is not a good example. So I believe that if it was only my ability i couldn't achieve all of this so allah has helped me with this and this so it's not um, one hour a day it's not a big deal to give for allah to just do the worship and every, and everything so yeah i i we measure it like this so mm. many people like offer much more hours than this so every day they do many more things than only one hours so one hours is the minimum <laughs> wow doing the five uh, prayers every day is the minimum so many people if you want to get more degrees if you like it's like a study if you want to get more degrees uh, you have to do more work so you know quran yeah it's like <clears throat> in the a holy book yeah holy book in In Islam. In Islam. For Hindus, yeah. it's Gita. For Christians, it's Bible. And Bible, yeah. yeah. So, Quran, yeah. So, Quran. So, reading this Quran gives you some more degrees. Wow. Have you read it? Yeah, I uh, memorize it. You have to memorize it. <clears throat> no, you don't have to memorize it, but it's good. So, I mean, I told you there is 
different levels. Mm. So mm. I'm I'm doing good in this part. I'm memorizing the Holy Quran. So it's just like um, it's like how many how many it's uh, two hundred twenty four pages. Only. I think so. It's not that many. Uh, uh, let me let me check. I thought it will be like a if it is if it is 224 it's not like i can read books no not reading memorizing memorizing okay yeah if the book is interesting i i'll just read once and i'll totally memorize it you read it once and you memorize it yeah if the book is interesting no, no i don't think so <laughs> like if you if you are reading a story book no 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 it, wait it's just it's uh 600 and 604 pages where is the book wait sorry where is the book do you have this it is... wow so the book is in english arabic <laughs> no no arabic arabic so can i see yeah. the writing like uh... okay but this is a mini version of it so okay ah Awesome. Uh -huh. This is a mini version for me to to carry with me during uh, going to university and coming back and so on. So you you carry it with you, but there is a bigger big, version. Big version. I uh, I I thought so because so you cannot yeah. you cannot have everything in like six hundred pages of Quran, right? Of Quran, you cannot have everything in like I. I imagined a big book. Yeah, it's 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 it should be like two yeah. two times two times this size. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is like a mini version, so you can uh, you can carry it with you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so why why we are doing this? Because uh, we believe that when we die, mm -hmm. as as we have in this Quran. So this Quran is telling us. How to live this life? How? What is? What's? What? What will be going on after this life? So, how to live this life? How can I deal with with you and deal with? How can I deal with Muslims? How can I deal with non-Muslims? How can I manage my life? How can how how can I do everything in my life? Is mentioned in this Quran, mm. and what is not clarified in this Quran? Uh, we have it as like talks of Prophet Muhammad. So the Prophet Muhammad talks like there's some 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 called ayah. One so you have seen like it's some signs in, in the page when I showed you. Yeah. Between each two sides it's called ayah. So there is some ayah they are you can't understand, but what Prophet Muhammad says um giving explanations for these parts. Like those gaps have meanings. They are not gaps. There is writings. Yeah, but the writing... one page, one page, one page consists of, like for example, five ayah. It's called ayah. <laughs> okay, so every ayah is is saying like some saying. Like for example, when you deal with someone who you don't know, you have to respect him. For example, like if you meet a stranger. You have to respect the stranger. You at least not not to respect like I mean like you you deal you deal with him in a good way. Yeah, like you don't uh, like insult him or something, right? You don't insult him. You don't. Uh, mm. For example, for example, this is not a uh, uh, this is not this is not what is in the Quran. So, for example, say say it's one ayah is called like if you meet some uh, friend, you have to respect him. Uh, for example, it's respect him. So you can understand respect him in different ways. So Prophet Muhammad comes and say, what's the meaning of respect here? So for example, if, if he if he is a Muslim, so uh, the right of every Muslim on you is when you meet him to say, Assalamu Alaikum, for example. Mm -hmm. And when he like sneeze, <laughs> or yeah, bless you. like you say, God bless you, for example. Yeah. And when he is sick, you have to visit him and uh, and be with him. And when he dies, you have to take his um, 
body and bury him. Mm. So this this is the explanation for what is in the Quran. Yeah, Christians. So what is Christians and yeah. Muslims bury bury people bury. and I and, think and in, Jews and Jews Jews also bury. Yeah, and I think in Hinduism they burn. Burn. Mm. Yeah, I know. So um. But I, so this is, yeah. I think a lot of Christians these days are also burning the bodies, like in those like chambers, in hate chambers, or they are burning. Yeah, the yeah. I think because you know, you know because uh, Christians are not committed to what was um, given to them. Because, for example, in in my religion in Islam, we believe I believe in one God. Okay, and. This God should be the God of Christians and the God of Jews. But we Muslims and Jews believe in one God, the same mm -hmm. God. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have a prophet called Muhammad and they have a prophet called Moses. I don't know if you know him. You didn't hear him. And we believe that Christians have a prophet called Jesus. Yeah. But Christians, after many years of, of the, the come of Jesus and Bible, they have changed what is written in the Bible. And they call this prophet as a God. They consider him, so they say, oh, Jesus Christ, and they, this, this thing. So they believe that, that this Jesus is a God. But we don't believe that he is a God. He is just a prophet. Okay. It's a lot so to what, take. Yeah, lot what to I believe is we have one God, and for Muslims, so uh, in the old time, come come one prophet called um, Moses. Okay. This this Moses and the people who followed him called Jews. After many years came another prophet called Jesus. This Jesus and the people who followed him, they are Christians. After many years came Prophet Muhammad and people who followed him are called Muslims. They are prophets from the same God. Prophets. You mean Prophet means mean messengers, messengers. Messenger. Like the man who, um, mm. for example, Moses, Allah took to him. Huh. So he went on a mountain and Allah talked to him and gave him uh, his book. Uh, I don't know what's the name uh, of this book. And Allah gave the book of Bible to Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, and Allah gave Quran to Muhammad. So they are the messengers who take the orders of God and give it to their followers. So I follow Muhammad, so he give us al Islam. And the Christianity fall but Christians and Jews, like after many years they have changed it in their books, what is written in their books, and what um, the gods have asked them to do with their prophets. So they changed what they received. Like because there it is was, like it was Old Testament, New Testament. That's how they changed it. Is it like that? Exactly, wow. exactly. Uh, and uh, so, because in in their books mm. there was like prophecy that the coming messenger is called Muhammad, and you should all follow him. But they like changed this uh, prophecy from their books and changed it. Only old peoples know it's true, but they don't commit commit to it, and they uh, like neglect it. So I don't know why, and but they have some similarities or many similarities. Like uh, they have one god, except for the Christians, because they change it to three gods. I don't know if you know Christ about Christianity. Christianity, I think Jesus is main. Jesus is the messenger. In Christianity? Yeah. No. He's a God. He's the God? Yeah. 
or he is a god or he is the god no they say he is the, the they say that god has some spirit and some human uh, like character okay but so in... jesus jesus they, they see him as uh, the as the version as the human version of uh, of god like an avatar exactly like yeah not not avatar he was like a person like me and you so jesus is a person okay. but they say this person is allah is god but in in islam we say this person is a messenger not a god because god can't be a person like me and you i can't worship you and say you are uh, you are god mm, like god cannot be a person oh why can i worship a man like me how can this man like created me or so oh. it's not not reasonable yeah so god can be can't be the same thing as me so if if he is like me why should i worship him so wow but they say he's a god and they change it from it and in quran the um, in quran it's written that jesus say why they are considering me as a god i'm not a god um mm. th there is a conversation between uh, jesus and allah he say i'm sorry they considered me as a god and but i'm not a god and i ask for your forgiveness and so on so mm -hmm. so but we have some common like rules and everything but they have changed a lot all right so your this was a, your... a brief a, a brief explanation for the legends <laughs> And like, do you do your parents are Muslim? Sorry. Like your parents are definitely Muslim. Yeah, I'm definitely Muslim. And they 100%. also they also follow all these five rules. My friends. No, your parents. Ah, uh, yeah, my parents are de yeah are definitely Muslim. My grandpa and all I think all my ancestors are Muslims. Yeah, they follow these five rules. Yeah. Ah. They pray every day, they read Quran, they give part of their money every year for poor people. Uh, they have went to Mecca one time. I didn't go yet. Oh. But because I don't have the money yet, so I'm not obliged. Mm -hmm. But when I got the money, so it's the best, the best thing. So every Muslim would like to go to Mecca. So it's like it's not like a burden on him. Every every, every Muslim when he gets money and he find himself fit enough to go, just goes because we like to do this. Mm. And what was that? Ramadan. Like yeah yeah. How many days do you have to stay in Makkah? Uh, at least I think it's five days. Five days. Yeah, but many people would like to stay one month. One month, but it's minimum five days. It's the minimum. The minimum is one day only. One day. So, if you are so busy, you can come for one day. Do uh, what you have to do in this day. The most important thing, you have to attend, and you can go back. You have to attend and you can go back, but you have to go there for it's at least day. for once. No, at least. At least. No, what do you mean? In your life? No, yes. In your life, you have to go there at least once and you have to stay at there least minimum, one. Yeah. minimum one day or you can just minimum see and go, go back. Let's see. You do, you do some actions. Okay. So you go and you uh, sit on a place with mm -hmm. all Muslims. So there are two million people mm -hmm. sit in one place. They hear to some sheikh you know the meaning of sheikh? Sheikh. Sheikh. Like, yeah, I know. Like yeah. the... Uh, mus the the uh, person who does the prayers. Yes. So the person who leads the people in prayers. Mm -hmm. So he, he gives gives some talks and people stay there like crying and asking for mercy of Allah and like forgiveness of Allah for what they have did throughout the years before. Mm. So they ask for Allah to remove these sins from them. Why we do all of this? So why we have all of these burdens during our life? Because we wait for 
paradise after death. The paradise, the um, biggest prize after death. So after I think death. in Hindu, and you will only get it after death. After death, that's the that's the twist, twist point, plot twist. So do you know what's there in paradise? Yeah, we have some some explanations about what you find in paradise. Uh. Uh, so every one of us. So I I hear that uh, in Hindu, there is a second life. Or person can change. For example, you are a person, and in other life you are a frog. For example. I mean, I mean, life life doesn't vanish. So you change from oh, one form to another. Another. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But we believe that it's only one life, and you die and you um, get a walk in the again. You are. Um, punished for your sin if you are a sinner you get punished so oh. if you kill if you tell told lies if you um, did anything bad you get punishment if you did good things like prayers uh, memorizing quran reading quran and um, accepting all the rules offered by prophet muhammad do good things so you get the paradise mm. so that's the main point um the thing is, you have to believe in this. You can't see this. You don't know, but it's about belief. So, and this is the point. If you believed, mm. you will get uh, good things in the other life. If you don't, <laughs> like you'll go to hell if you don't believe in it. You go to hell. <laughs> So <laughs> yeah, it's better to so believe. You, it's better to believe in this if you are a Muslim, right? So one one atheist say, "What if?" Um, so he, what one he idiot said. said one, one atheist said to oh, one, one Muslim. Atheist. Yeah. Atheist, yeah. Is is it a story? Muslim. Is it an old story? It's like a joke. Okay. Uh, he said to one Muslim, hmm. "What if we died and there was no paradise and everything?" Uh, he's the Muslim said, uh, my condition then will be better than yours if if we find it's correct. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, yeah. So he said, okay, uh, I I live my life as I want. I do whatever I want. Mm. And what if if we if we died, there wasn't what you said mm. as there is punishment mm. and prize. He said, my condition then will be better than your condition when we die and find this correct yeah because if it's correct i i get yeah. surprised and you will get punishment yeah yeah and, <laughs> and then you you are staying prepared you are prepared you are prepared <laughs> wow so if if it's if it's if there is nothing so you are it's okay yeah but, but this is a joke definitely yeah. so but if that is by chance who knows if that is yeah you are prepared yeah, yeah. you'll get the best Awesome. If you want, if you want to go deeper in this, if you want to know, because you said you are investigating religions mm -hmm. and so on, mm -hmm. so there is an one Hindi, Hindi guys guy called I I don't know if you know him. Zakir Khan. Called Zakir. Zakir. Yeah, he also like he is also spreading, like yeah, like uh, yeah like yeah like this yeah yeah this spreading. I have heard of his name, but I nearly, I did not really have the time to listen to him. But maybe now, man, after, you, you after need this. you need to listen him because he like makes he knows better than me what is in Hindu, what is in Islam, and he is mm -hmm. like doing a lot of comparisons between Christianity, and Muslims, uh, Jews, and Muslims, uh, Jews, Christianity, Hindu, Christianity, Hindu, Muslims. So I think you need to have a look at him. Does he speak in English? He speaks. He's Hindi, so he's a mix between English and uh, and Hindi. Hindi, Hindi. but he doesn't. But but he is he's worldwide. He's is very well known in the world. So he speaks to not only to Hindi persons, but to all uh, all people. So I think the most universal language is English. Yeah. So, so is the Hindu, yeah, right? 
English. Hindu can understand English and everyone can understand English. So most of his talks is in English. Yeah, so I can definitely give give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. Z- Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik, yeah. And Z- there was Ahmad Dida. Khan, I think. Right? Zakir Khan. It's Zakir Khan or Zakir Naik? I'm not sure. Maybe... I'll write his name. Zakir Naik, maybe. I'm not sure. Zakir Naik. Pro- probably. And do you... Zakir Naik, yes. What do you like think about about other religions? Because there is Christianity, there is Hinduism, all the other religions. What do you think? Like you are cool with those religions? Uh, what do you mean by cool? Like you, that those religions exist. You are fine yeah. with that. You are okay with that. I I'm I'm fine with that, but um, then it's okay. I. For me, it's okay for mm-hmm. it. So in Islam, it's okay for anyone to take what he wants. So I can't uh, oblige you to believe in what I believe. I just tell you about what my belief, and it's it's about you because I'm not. If if you do well, I'm not taking. You, no, sorry, if you do well, I'm not taking your prize, and if you do bad, I'm not taking your punishment. Uh-huh. So it's your it's your decision, after all. But one of the good things that I got the prize for is telling people about uh, what I believe. So if I tell you about what I believe, uh, it's a good thing in Islam. Mm-hmm. Because in Islam, um, so I can say, okay, I I take the prize for myself. I don't care if anybody knows about Islam. So if I'm okay, so I don't give a shit to anyone else. So mm-hmm. why why the why is the shit I I talk to every people, but in Islam to be a, a true Muslim you have to tell people about what what no. to care to care about other people. Mm. So one can say okay if I'm right and I think I'm right, so. Why do I care if uh, if you accept it, if you know about it or not? So but, how how many religions? Allah, Allah, yeah. How many religions you are aware of? Like aware? Yeah. So I'm Muslim, ah. and uh, I I should believe I must believe in all prophets that Allah sent before our prophet. Mm-hmm. So Jesus, but as a prophet, not as a, not as a God. Mm. Moses as a prophet, and we have many different prophets that were sent uh, from the beginning of people till now. So I believe in all of them because they all coming from one God, and they all have the same uh, details. Should be before changing. So I'm aware of of Christianity. Mm. but the good Christianity on my perspective and um, Jews as well so yeah but Jews have some problems had some problems with German people I think Uh, Uh, yes like with Hitler with Hitler yeah Hitler which religion Hitler's religion Hitler is Christian. Christian Christian I think and he had yeah. problems with Jews. Yeah. Wow. But this wasn't. This was politics. Political, not about Political. religion. Not about religion. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, this world is complex. Yeah, you have. If if you have not decided yet, you have to spend some time because it really deserves. Yeah, if you want to uh, understand this world, and you will only function well in this world if you understand it, right? It's it's like it's the meaning of your life because if if sometimes I uh, give up with doing prayers and everything, I commit with these um, rules. 
I can't find the meaning for my life. So like, why I'm living this life? What you, I'm doing? If you don't pray, you don't. You feel bad. I feel very bad. Ah. Because I don't feel like. So what is this life? I I can't find the reason for this life. Why I'm doing this? If after all I will die. Hmm. But if I'm pray, I'm connected to Allah. And I'm doing. So I, I find a meaning for my life. I'm doing this for Allah. So Allah asked me also to study well, and to be uh, to learn well, and to live my life well. So if I do good, if I do what Allah ordered me, I find my life easy and like meaningful. Mm -hmm. If I stop obeying and do bad things, so for example, we don't drink alcohol; it's forbidden. Yeah, back in Pakistan, alcohol is I think illegal. Illegal. Not illegal, yeah. Maybe they did that law in Pakistan, but it's Probably. forbidden by God. Forbidden. There is a difference between yeah. forbidden by God forbidden. and illegal. So there are some laws human made, but the laws of God is like different thing. But Pakistan maybe because they are all Muslims. Yeah. So in Egypt, for example, we have the majority is Muslims, mm -hmm. and we have some Christian. Christian. Christian, Christians. So we can't um, by law forbid alcohol because Christians drink alcohol, mm -hmm. and we can't go for each one and ask him, "Are you Christian or Muslim?" So, so it's not it's not forbidden by law. You do what you want, but there is some uh, commitment to your religion. So if you are Muslim. It's forbidden to drink. Otherwise, you will be punished when you die. After after death in other life. Yeah. So it's like self self like commitment or self. Uh, it's actually like uh, like if you are committed to something, like I think you will have a better life. Like you, are, if you are like kind of exactly. Uh, exactly. Like, if you just if have you a have... life, like then you might get suicidal or that kind of stuff like if you don't find a meaning of your life but if exactly. you whatever that is your work your religion whatever that is if you are committed to anything i think you you may you have the meaning of life yeah, yeah you will then you, you have, have some rules you have some rules you have some things to do and some things you you don't do because we are not animals hmm. so if you live your life like animals so this is a way uh, allah said in quran that we have like favored people than animals uh, because people have we give them their mind and their ability to choose because animals they will have no price or punishment mm. in the other life they just go away and this is the reason why they live their life as they want they go in the forest and do if they want to eat they eat if they want to sleep they sleep but we are humans and Allah gave us brain to differentiate between what is good and what's not good. Mm -hmm. So Allah said in Quran, we have like make people better than animals and they like, so animals uh, can't take ships, build ships and move in seas and so on. This is the meaning of, um, of, of, um, of ayah. So people can build things, create things, and they can think. So they are different from the animals. Yes. So this is the meaning of life. Animals mm. doesn't have a meaning of life. They just eat, sleep, and repeat. Eat, sleep, repeat. Eat, yeah. sleep, repeat. And in biology, like, they evolved. Like, according to biology, humans evolved. But according to Islam, what happened? According to Islam, Allah created the first human. Created, right? Oh, like Adam, yes. and, Adam and Eve. Adam. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. They mm. were the first creation of Allah in human uh, beings. But uh, evolution theory says that it's evolved from monkeys. Mm. Which one do you believe in? No, I believe in Islam, of course. Oh, really? Yeah, because I I can see how can so they believe in also in this universe mm. came from Big Bang. From <laughs> Big Bang or something. Mm -hmm. So how can Big Bang create a human being or create an animal that can move and how can this miss? So it's a bang. So I have a question for you. 
ओके लेट सी इफ यू कैन आंसर नॉट हु क्रिएटेड अल्लाह और हु क्रिएटेड गॉड दिस इज वन ऑफ द फिलोसॉफिकल क्वेश्चंस दैट वी आर सो व्हेन आई वाज यंग आई आस्क हु क्रिएटेड अल्लाह बट इन आवर बिलीफ दैट अल्लाह इज is the creator of us so it it doesn't um it doesn't necessarily have the same rules as us okay so if you if you think like this who created allah you say like some someone and who created this someone so you go endlessly and yeah. you have no yeah. and you have no answer so allah was before the creation of us so and the rules that Uh, goes to Allah shouldn't necessarily be the same of our rules because he is the creator of us so for example uh, if you created um, uh, uh, like a vehicle or something so the conception of this vehicle is not aware of the conception of their creator mm-hmm. so this car for example it has some some rules go stop Uh, turn right turn left and so uh, can we compare the um, like the conception of this vehicle to the conception of our of persons it's totally different so we can say who created allah because uh, we believe that allah was existing before the creation of anything so he created everything this is some kind of philosoph- philosophical questions that yes. if you go beyond you will get lost and it's not useful to to mm-hmm. to ask or think about because it's just it's just non important question to answer not important right not not important you have to think about it because i when i was a child i th- i thought about this because so allah created us so who created allah but you come out with the reason that so if someone created allah who created this person Mm. So, when you so, will end? So Allah is eternal, and he, eternal, and He created humans. He, according to he Islam, He was eternal before. He was eternal before creating the humans, and He will be eternal after creating the humans. And He is like um, a pure truth, or what's called. Like, I don't know the meaning of Arabic, but it's like the saying that will never change. Hmm. existed before we exist and he will continue to exist yeah wow and yeah zack and ike answers all these questions in a simple way and simple way like everybody yeah. can understand the way he understands under- better than me so for for example i don't know everything about islam so there are some people personalized in this they can answer you and check so he makes sure that everybody understands zakir naik right should be he he goes because he is like a scient if we if we can call this if he he is a scientist in his field so can he so he can explain what i can't explain for you for example mm-hmm. because he know more than i know so when when there is a, so when you study like a math course mm. and your little brother comes and ask you for to explain something yeah so can you explain it better than your teacher uh, it depends. depends depends it depends your excellent teacher so no. teachers are are different but there is some some kind of teacher in in your school for example you say oh my god this teacher is very good mm. in his field and he can explain really good that everyone in the class can understand even we are um um uh, different in our understanding so i i can understand easily than my friend or so so this teacher can go to each level and teach everyone with his level so zack nike i think is talented in this area because many millions of people have uh, turned to islam because of his talks really and they, yeah millions of people turned into islam because of his talk because of his talks yeah uh, what religion and, were they before uh, christian hindu and different 
Wow. But so he, he has some his, power in his words. Yeah, he's man, he is uh, he is like sent out from India because of his talks. Mm -hmm. He can't enter he is Indian, but he can't enter India because of uh, Hindu. Oh, he can't enter India. Yeah. Like I think he lives now in Saudi Arabia or something. Like he he is from India but he cannot enter India. Like is it like he's India, but because of his talks. Yeah. So and many people turn it from Hindu into Islam because of him. Uh. So I think just they just send him away and forbid him to from entering India. Like by law? By law. By authority. If the person doesn't have done anything criminal, then I don't think it's right to forbid them from entering. I don't know. But don't know. our you prime can, minister, our prime minister, like Indian prime minister, could yeah, not Narendra. Narendra Modi could not visit USA for some years. Like he could could not get a visa or passport for some Narendra? years. Narendra, yeah, Narendra Modi, yeah, for couldn't get visa for what? Uh, he could not visit the USA for some years. Why? Political issues, but now he can. Now he can, but he could not. He, he was not able to for some years. Maybe because of uh, some actions like sanctions. Maybe political, act, political, politics, politics. Exactly. I I don't know much. But man, you have to. Yeah. You, you don't have to. You I have, don't to, have to. How do I have to do? <laughs> tell me. Tell me. You don't. You don't have to. Okay. Uh, but it's better to to, better. to give uh, to give him a try. <laughs> uh, give Z Zaki Naik a try, right? Zaki Naik. And Quran is available in English. Quran is available in English and many uh, languages. Maybe I think Pakistani. I think they have versions of uh, Urdu. Urdu. Can you read Urdu or? I uh, know I cannot read Hindi even. Like, you cannot read Hindi. No, I, I'm I, where I live in the state. Um, our first language is Bengali, and here most of Bengali. the people cannot read Hindi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Pakistani also can read Bengali. Really, they can. I I don't know, but they read. No, no, Pakistani no. can read they Hindi. Speak, probably. Pakistani speak same language, but uh, write different. Yeah, yeah. But it, different right Hindi because is... the letter the letters are Arabic the Pakistani letters are Arabic have you heard of Sanskrit what Sanskrit is a very old language from India and yeah. Hindi and Sanskrit the writings are same but it's very yeah, I, I know this is like this like it's yeah. very difficult so in West Bengal mostly people can understand Hindi can but can't can understand Hindi but but cannot read I sorry, cannot read. And the Bengali, can, cannot read the Bengali are uh, the Bengali are uh, Latin letters. Bengali, Bengali. Yeah. Bengali. yeah, I can read right Bengali. No, so it's it's a Latin letters like English. Bengali. Yeah. No, no, Bengali is Bengali is different. Bengali is like Hindi, looks like Hindi, but no, doesn't look like Hindi, but looks similar. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay. Looks similar, but yeah. is not Hindi. Sans so it's still difficult. <laughs> yeah, sa Sanskrit and Hindi look same, but Bengali and yeah. Hindi look similar, but don't don't look the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they are not Latin letters like no, no, a, no, 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 nothing like that. So a, for example, they, 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 even a mother, then uh, on on the head they'll give a dot, they'll put a dot on the head yeah. of the a. Maybe that comes from Latin, but it's nothing like that. Bengal is nothing like that. You can just look it up on. I mean, I mean, I mean, like German, for example, is like English, Latin letters. Mm -hmm. French is like English and German, Latin letters. So they have the same A, same B, same C, but different pronunciation. Different pronunciation. Yeah. But... Like for example, A, we have the same letter A. It's called mm. in English A. A. It's in German. In German, A. Ah. A. Ah. A B in English B. In German, B, B, 
Yeah. C in English, say in German. Say. D. German lesson. Say. Say. I'm getting a German lesson. Yeah. A, B, C. D. D. A. A. F. F. F is kind of same. G. Yeah. G. Ha. Ha. Yot. Yot. J. J. Same. No, yot. Yot. It's J. No. Yot. J, J is called Yot. Yot. Yeah. You see the G, H, O, J. K. K. L. L. M. M. N. N. U. U. P. P. Q. Q. R. 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 Yeah. S. S. T. T. U U S T U V um, V V V V V means V V V W is V V V W X Y called E E Z called that that yeah exactly 26. so but they are same they are same writing but different pronunciation yeah same writing but different pronunciation and the 26 of them 26 wow so in the question writing, is, is, in is bangli is bangli the same writing of english or similar not similar not same totally different okay. look have okay, you okay. seen hindi hindi writings have yeah, you, yeah, I see. I see. Uh, it's similar to Hindi. Similar to. Yeah, yeah. It's like the music letters. You can look it up on Google. Uh, Bengali writing. Uh, it it will look similar to Hindi. Yeah. So maybe maybe some versions of Quran are written in Hindi. Yeah. Uh, Sans Sanskrit. I think there is maybe maybe you find it. I don't know, but if you hear to Zakir Naik, he can show you. Mm -hmm. He can show you. Mm -hmm. So, are you a good student in computer science? I think. You think? I, uh, so, yeah. You know I, a lot I, about I, uh, religion, but that doesn't mean you will have to a bad student in computer science. People do. They are talented people who who do like they will do five things and and they'll do the best in everything. So there are a lot of people like that. Right? Yeah, they do I acting, think, uh, entrepreneurship, um, a lot stocks, share shares. Yeah, yeah. They'll do everything and they are the best. I think I I can I can do many things at the same time. So I can focus only. Well, if I study, I focus on study. Mm -hmm. If I like do two, I'm not this kind of people. I know there is some some kind of very intelligent people who can do like five things at a time, but I can't. At a time, I don't know. I cannot do anything. I if I if... I mean I mean I mean at a time in one year, for example. So I'm um, in one year. I'm doing entrepreneurship. I'm write in in uh, I'm write some articles and. Uh, journals, I'm doing some, uh, I'm studying, I'm teaching. And there's some people doing this, yeah, for sure. Sharp. They're working part time and studying and teaching and yeah. guiding some other students. And there is some, I think, hard Indians workers, are leaders. Hard this, workers, man, Indians are very good in IT, uh, IT, yes, yeah. Uh, the Google CEO, do you know? Ah, oh, exactly, he's an Indian. Uh, no, I think there is. I I saw a, a post. Uh, Sundar Pichai. What? Yeah, yeah. I saw a post ten days ago, mm. or one mm. month ago. I don't remember. And um, the, mm. the CEO of most of the biggest country in the world are Indians. CEO of Instagram is also uh, some Indian dude, Agrawal. I think P probably Parag Parag Agarwal, CEO of Instagram. Indian. Indians are. Indian. But Indians I think are the study really is good at, like, uh, 
doing it stuff like IT, yeah. there is some some um, like the country gives uh, more importance to this uh, part of studying india is famous for it yes i know yeah, there's sure. some indian guy that catches me up when i'm during the exams when i'm stuck i open a youtube video uh i see this guy coming hello guys we having this tutorial <laughs> and they do it in english in english yeah uh, can you give, what's your favorite channel uh, like about computer science yeah on youtube i think i now i didn't uh, like uh have indian guys but you can't find many it was during his bachelor's hmm. when i was studying computer engineering how does that so one of them one of them was called uh, abdul bari abdul bari abdul bari and there yes. is another channel called maybe it's for like only beginners but it's called freecodecamp.org on youtube freecodecamp yeah it's indian it's Is indian, it indian? Uh, probably i don't know not, probably not i don't know yeah freecodecamp is ah you you ask me about the best youtube channel for mm -hmm. programming mm -hmm. freecodecamp yeah exactly I, you, you are aware of that channel yeah yeah i know yeah you're it's definitely really good. you will definitely know if i can know i did it for two months okay um, yeah like a hobby you will say but yeah then i got to know some channels yeah there is one indian channel called eridiku or something it's uh, in data science wariku wariku i don't know no eridiku e r yeah so it was a good it was uh, hindi hindi so you majorly work on like to you work to develop websites right like i'm not a specialized in this but this is part of uh, my specialization yeah like like where do you specialize then i was in the beginning i was i wanted to specialize in machine learning machine learning neural link and, and the international and uh, artificial intelligence but after that i changed it to software engineering software mainly i mainly i'll be specialized in web applications ah, artificial so intelligence like, right i think in the future there will be more need about this kind of people artificial intelligence people artificial intelligence people that science and software engineers uh, uh, yes software engineers are always important yeah you have to make some good apps i think yeah so can, can you make an application like omega you are more interested uh, in religions than this that's for sure but then study yeah you like your religions like you like to talk about I'm... religions much more than your studies talk about my studies like you like to oh, talk about yeah, religion yeah. a lot more than your studies than study mm -hmm. no um no. Yeah, study. So studying good mm. is part of my religion. Oh, awesome! That's so if awesome. I focused, yeah, if I focused in my religion and if I intend that I'm doing this um, for for the sake of my religion, then I get high degrees, if I can say. Mm. So I get it's it's better to focus on my study uh, because this is an order from Allah to to if you if you do something. You have to uh, master it. So Allah loves someone who uh, gives. I don't mm. know the good translation for it. So Allah loves person who get things done correctly and in a good way. So if you are a teacher and if you teach your students in a good way, then Allah loves you. If you are a student and you study hard and you're best in your studies, then Allah loves you. Like if you if do you are... your job properly, then Allah loves you. Exactly. Ah, exactly. Got it. So part of my, uh, if but chart, uh, no, not chart. Chart is Arabic. It's mm. a condition that you intend to do this for Allah, not just doing this and. Uh, so you, if you intend that I'm, I'm, I'm studying hard, so that Allah loves me, so Allah will love you and uh, give you all good things. This is part of my belief. Yeah. And you can make applications like Omega? 
Uh, I think application like Omegle is beyond my level because um, this video call requires mm-hmm. some networking stuff. Oh. So this Omegle, it's like a company. It's not one person. Uh, definitely. It's a company. And it makes money, of, right? Omegle? I think they give some uh, advertisement. Yeah, through those advertisements. But I have never seen any of and those. They are, they are making use of us. In, in a way or another like we are we are using omegle they are using us so i think it's a like it's like facebook so no one can alone do facebook yeah like yeah. we are using so, omegle omegle is using us so i think it's exactly. a fair game it's a fair because if if you use an any website without paying money so it's using you one way or another at least some advertisements if you are paying money, then you know how they are using it, like how they are using you, like they are taking money, so they are using you, right? Your yeah, money. exactly. But if, if, you are if not, they are not, then you, you are getting to see some advertisements and that kind of stuff. They might record our conversation and take it, do provide it to AI, uh, AI program to extract. So during uh, during our talks, for example. We mentioned what we love, what we hate, what we yeah. um, maybe we talk about what we eat. So in another application, you see advertisement about what we talked about. I di- I don't know if you experienced it before or not, uh, but sometimes you like talk to your friends on a shirt or something that you really like to buy uh, a t-shirt in in a week. So you intend to buy a t-shirt, for example, or you intend to eat some food. So it happened for me. I say like in a chat, I write to my friend. And when I open Facebook, mm. I find this thing. Uh, Why did you write this? Why for example, in, in WhatsApp and you find WhatsApp. it in Facebook because they are connected. So what that picks, what we write and feed it to machine learning program to see what we like, what we hate, what we... So if you like to buy something, you get advertisement of that thing on Facebook, for example. So they are making use of us, definitely. But what I wanted to say to you, for example, this application, Mm. uh, you know, there is some person required in in application, this button, stop. One software engineer... Stop button. Yeah. And this buy button in Amazon. Buy. Yeah. There is a whole team for this button. Of engineers. You know, the color of the button uh-huh. is chosen. Is it chosen with, uh, after some research, which color that you are more likely to press when you see it? Like in the button in Amazon. In Amazon, button uh, like add to my cart. Or shop oh, now. Oh yeah. So they are huge. It's a huge product. So Amazon. So every single part requires a full team to do it. Not because of hard, but to maintain it. For example, this Omegle, millions of people use it every day. So if I myself do this application, I will not take care of capacity. But of if any application is used by hundreds or millions of people. So you are doing some, you know, this conversation between us now. Uh, how do you think it's it's going behind the scene? What so I, the camera takes my photo, yeah, and my voice mm-hmm. to the phone. It moves in the wires. Uh-huh. So because now I'm using Wi-Fi, so it moves until it reaches the router, and it moves through the router like bits, zeros and ones electricity yes and it moves like this and it goes for for example uh, if it's whatsapp if we are talking d- using whatsapp omegle will be the same so my talking this moves through wires and router switches and go uh, until it gets out from germany for example and gets down the oceans to go to canada for example so canada where is the server this server you know, the server is like where they store the data. Okay. The servers of WhatsApp. Sorry, this is t- too much technical, but I want to uh, explain it. 
so the server is just compare the server is in canada for example yeah for okay. example whatsapp okay. is for putting example. their servers for example they are putting their servers in canada usa mm -hmm. uh, any country mm -hmm. so it gets out so my photo now and my voice moves through wires to the uh, no moves in the air mm. until it gets to the router okay no not from the air my voice go from the air to the mobile phone mm -hmm. and the mobile phone send signals mm. back to the router because it's the internet it goes to the router and from the router to the switch and from the switch to it goes in the wires under the ground till it reach the main wires that connects continents together it moves under the atlantic ocean and goes to canada after it goes to canada it goes to the uh, the the servers it gets a message to me it knows that i'm talking to you because we started a conversation together when i said next person mm. so it's 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 a commitment between me and you so it knows that uh, abdurrahman here is talking to you so it gets from canada under the pacific ocean again moves through the mediterranean and uh the and the red sea and go back to the indian uh, what's called indian ocean indian ocean yeah and go to india, india. and comes to your house yeah. to the router to your mobile phone mm -hmm. and then you see my photo and hear my voice this is all done in milliseconds yeah but there Because is a lag I, like when i say something there is a lag then you will hear me maybe tenth of a second but there is a lag there there should be a lag but yeah. we can't uh, we can't realize it because it's very 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 short ah. so my so i'm now in germany and you are now in india india so we are thousand kilometers apart so and it doesn't necessarily go from germany to india directly as i told you it can go first to canada and then come back to india so it's a long way so this coming this uh, networking parts Mm. Even for video and audio, takes um, requires some networking engineers, not just software engineer. So he's aware of this part. How can make this uh, transfer easily? And one more part is, uh, as I told you, the capacity. So we are millions, and this server in Canada can't handle all these requests. So I'm talking to you, mm. and. Million people from India are talking to million other people in all over the world. Mm -hmm. All of this are going through wires to Canada. If there is only Canada, to handle it, see what who I'm talking to you, who are these million people are talking to you, and do some routings for this call to reach the other guy. Imagine this for millions of people. This is too much. So. For example, uh, Miguel has servers in Canada, one in India, and one in. How can we do the routings? How can we say this conversation between me and you? Go take this route to go to Canada first and go to you, and the other people go maybe for USA first and come to the other guy. So, so it's not it's not an easy task, but everyone is specialized in one part. For example, there is front end. This front end, what makes mm. like the shape of what you see, mm. like this is top button, and here type your your message. Yeah, message. And this chatting. So this is the front end. What the user what the, what the user sees. There is a back end. This is what I called. How to send this from mobile phone to or or computer to the servers. How hand how can the servers handles this request so i'm um, my request to the server is uh, i say hi server send my conversation and my photo and my video to this guy in india how can the servers handle this this is a back-end engineer the front-end engineer is doing as i told you this one the networking engineer is handling how this request and the responses are sent between this uh, so this Zakir Nike has moved <laughs> mm. thousand kilometers until it reached you. You know, uh, oh, you see it. Yeah. I, I wrote it. Wow. It's, and it's so it moving like signal is moving in light speed. Light speed. Ah. Exactly in fiber. Uh, 
fiber optics. Fiber optics. So the that's signal is, so uh, the signal is uh, they're si sending the signal like through lights through infrared. Oh, infrared, right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so I had like I took PCM when I was in school, so I know a little bit of this, but only a little yeah, bit. Yeah, light, but in uh, in the countries it might like uh, so in Egypt, for example, the infrastructure is not um, fiber optics yet, just wires, copper, copper. Well, Copper wires. Copper wires. You can send wi Wi-Fi. Like you can have Wi-Fi through copper data, copper cables. No, you have signals like electricity in copper uh. wires. But when it comes to the router, router converts it from electricity to signals like waves. Are you sure about that? Yeah, it's the same as we. Uh, if I'm doing a phone call with you. Mm. So I, I, I do the phone call, I speak, it goes from my mobile phone to the, um, what's called, um, the thing that is Modem. holding the wire. Oh, the... The thing that is, what is that? The holding the wires. Holding the wires. Yeah. In the streets. Transformer. Pillar or something. The pillar. The pillar. What does it do actually? You know, Hold holds the wires. It holds the the receptors for the signal. It receives the signal. Which signal? For example, um, for example, let 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 us go to the mobile for uh, the internet. Towers, mobile towers. Towers, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Mobile towers. So the mobile towers has some things that receives the signals from my mobile phone. Mm. So my mobile phone, what is exactly doing is converts my sound that it receives to waves or signals, transmits it, and until the tower catches catches it. Mm -hmm. And the tower uh, functionality is to convert it from signal, wave signal, to uh, electrical signal, to, to move through the wires. Okay. So it moves like uh, the speed of electricity, for example, or something in the wires. So it moves in wires until it goes to fiber optics. It changes from electricity to light. So it can take the speed of the light. Speed of light. Yeah. yeah. Speed of light, right. 300 kilometers per second. 300 kilometers per second. Yeah. 300 kilometers per second. Yeah. 300 kilometers per second. How much? You think the light speed is 300 kilometers per second? Really? Just have what a calculation think? then. That you said that we are sitting away from thousands of kilometers and the light speed is 300 kilometers per second, then it will, just, it will take minutes to get there. 300,000 kilometers per second. Uh, I think it's... 300,000. Three hundred thousand probably is the correct answer. Exactly. Yeah. Three hundred thousand. Because if you yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. Forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> yes. Three hundred thousand is the right answer. Three hundred thousand. Three hundred something thousand kilometers per second. It's uh, not three hundred and five. I think it's actually less than three hundred two nine seven something. I think. Really. Really. Yeah. Yeah. I forget my physics. Yeah. Physics okay. was my favorite subject when I was in school. Yeah, it was mine also, but I didn't use it for a long time, so... Mm. So, it, yeah, it may happen. Yeah, it, it's 27 something, I, I think. 297 something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 1000 kilometers per second. Yeah, kilometers. Fastest, fastest thing in the speed. universe. Speed. Fastest yeah. speed in the universe. Exactly. Yeah. So, this was a long uh, computer ah. science. And the religion. Yeah, religion. When are you going uh, to listen. sleep? It's 8 in the morning. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's don't now... you have to go to the university? No, no. It's uh, tomorrow is a weekend. Saturday. Weekend. Yeah, tomorrow is... Yeah, I'm, and I'm in Sunday? vacation now. Tomorrow is Sunday or Saturday? Saturday, Sunday. Okay. What is your uh, weekend? It's Saturday today. No, no. Weekend, weekend. 
weekend it's like sunday and saturday saturday sunday oh same 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 here yeah so and what happened to your glasses like to the frame like and the knee yeah yeah just get scratch it like and that's how the got out the color came yeah, out yeah yeah it was like um it now it has a layer. become transparent yeah yeah it was a layer here i oh oh you moved it actually yeah. i have also ah. done it the same thing but i have done to the sides ah okay so i no longer wear my glasses why why uh do you need those glasses to see objects away from you or close to you uh i think close close like you cannot read without without this without the glasses i can i can my not my sight is not that uh, but, uh, bad but so i i you, take it as a protection protection if you don't wear these glasses what gets bloody the close objects or the far away objects uh i think the far objects far objects so it's called the uh, the condition you have is called near sightedness or myopia no it's called yeah. near sightedness because you can see the you can see close objects properly but you cannot see the far away objects so it's called near sightedness so near sightedness yeah. like you are near sighted but you are not you are not seeing the you are not really seeing the objects which are away from you so exactly it's called near sightedness or myopia and it's a the your glasses have minus power yeah right right do you remember the power no like in physics uh, we we are also taught that minus powers glasses lenses have plus powers like the if the lens is like that convex lens convex and concave concave and concave is like that concave is like that and convex is like, like that like if yes. you get a cross sectional like if you look lens the lens is like that if you look at it let's say this is the convex lens okay and if you look at it like this from the here from my perspective it will look like this and if yes. the, if this is concave lens and if you look like look from my perspective it will kind of look like this yes so exactly. your glasses are like this concave i think i didn't i didn't check it but like it's like it's too hard to detect from like it's too hard to detect yeah but because it's, it's a, like the the diameter of the curvature mm -hmm. is is very high so you can't uh... yeah like if you have less power like like if your if your eye is it would be it would it would be thick if your glasses have less power like if your yes. eyes are working properly then yes. your glasses need to have less power then the yes. curvature radius of curvature will be more and exactly so it's like but that but they they compensate it with the compression so if your sight is good mm -hmm. you have uh, no you need if if your sight is good then you, the radius of curvature will be big okay yeah yeah so It'll, it will exactly. be harder to detect. Exactly. So, you only study computer science, or do you have to study any other subject, any other language, or anything? Or do you only study com German? German. You have to study German. I don't have to. But you can only study computer science. I I'm working. I'm doing a part-time job and uh, studying computer science. No, I mean in your university, you have to only study computer science, right? Yeah, yeah. Like you don't have it's to study master. some other subjects. It's a master. It's a master degree. Semester degree. So, master, master. Masters, masters degree. Masters. Uh -huh. Yeah. Masters. So it's not. It is not a bachelor. So I can take. I took already physics, chemistry, and mm -hmm. math. Mm -hmm. Everything I took in my bachelor's. Yeah. But in masters, yeah. I, Ma I, masters, I only take. Uh, you can get only this in in your masters. Yeah. Cool. After this masters, you will get a PhD degree. I don't think so. I want to work. You will work after this masters. Yeah, I think I think so. Yeah. 
like this masters doesn't give you a phd degree right it can give me a phd degree if i want then why do, I, I why don't you get it i if don't you, like if you I get don't it like for free academy. uh for free because i i don't like it so why didn't you continue in your uh, university yeah you have you have your reasons yeah no no i am saying that if you do this masters do you automatically get a phd degree or you have to do something no, else you have to search for for one and you apply for it and it's a totally different story you have to apply for it you have to apply for it and search for universities all over the world to see uh, which uh, phd program you like and, and to and ask the professor to... If you want to get, then you have to also spend some more years, I think. Searching. No, no, getting the PhD degree. PhD, it's five years minimum. Yeah, so it, you don't want to get it, right? I don't want. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people get PhDs when they are in their forties or something. They are exactly. working. They get their PhD at the same time. They study from home. Maybe, maybe from after. After some, I finish my masters, mm -hmm. so I have the chance. After some years, I can do my PhD if I want. Your choice, totally. Yeah, but if I don't want, so um, it's like doing good in your life, and when you die, <laughs> if you don't need it, if you don't need the PhD, why should you get it? Right? Yeah, exactly. Mm, that's that's but that's if, my if excuse after, for after, college. After my after many years of. Uh, working if you found yourself eligible for one hmm. you can take it yeah for sure like but people... i don't think i want to study i don't think i want to study anymore or doing academy because it's phd is totally different from studying you are taking you are doing research, research. so you spend your life research yeah you are doing your life uh, researching uh, new topics and doing some I don't like this. I like to do applications, do like uh, research just means, reading papers. Mm, like research means you have to invent stuff or anything like that. Invent or innovate. Invent the stuff and innovate stuff and uh, uh, look for, yeah, this is Bart and doing some literature searching what other people did and what how can you add to this mm -hmm. you can try you can fail you can succeed and it's a totally different story and you spend your life studying you study so when you do a phd in one topic so you have to know everything about the story you know the beginning of, so the history and what this is to know every contribution in this topic to have the ability to start your own, uh, so you don't start from scratch. Okay. So if you want to do something, you know what people have reached and you complete their work. So for example, if you don't, if you do, if you do want to, to do a, a new thing in computer science, so you can not start from the beginning uh, and reinventing the wheel, starting from the very beginning and say, oh, how can I uh, make the computer understand this instruction, for example? Mm -hmm. No, people and science have reached some point in, in computer science that you have to continue, not start from the beginning. So studying what is in, uh, what science, what scientists like have achieved before you is part of your PhD study. So you spend all your life reading and studying and researching. And if you are getting a PhD degree, that means you have to add some value to it, right? Like you have exactly. to, like, like you have to, the book is this thick, you have to make it that much. Yes. Right? So you can't, cool. you can't graduate. You can't get your degree un, unless you, you, you do some contributions uh -huh. to science uh -huh. so it's a little bit stressful and yeah 
what do you think about patents is it easy is it it is is it easy to get patents like i see kids getting patents these days like hey it's a kids patents yes ah uh, like in i think yeah. it's hard like i saw a kid made a new kind of tiffin 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 box and it was just shaped differently for dif- for a different kind of food it was just shaped a- in a specific way that's how we got a patent mm-hmm. so it it's not that difficult but you have to use your intelligence for it yeah and uh, when will you go to marry marry when will you when yeah. will you go I I have to finish my masters first and yeah. Uh, when does the master get finished? Maybe one year, maybe two years. Maybe two years. Yeah. Two years, right? I hope I hope two years is the maximum. Yeah. And so you when you are tw- when you are twenty six, you will marry. Maybe. And after this masters, you will get a permanent job. I hope. Uh, you, if you are working properly if you are you should get i should yeah yeah i should then you'll marry. you will who who will you marry you some egyptian girl or maybe i don't have yet maybe do do you, if you like somebody from your university maybe <laughs> you can pro- you like have to propose propose her it's like it's like i don't know <laughs> because i i still have studies so i can focus first on my studies and then ah yes uh, yes studying i think studying should be the most important for you right now right yeah yeah religion is the most important <laughs> come the study after that you really and, believe that uh, you really believe that no i believe that first religion, religion. second is health health mm-hmm. yeah mental and physical health mm-hmm. going to gym and doing sports mm-hmm. third is study religion but, health but, study but yeah but religion and health they are not consuming much my, time my my mike yes uh, study is mm. is uh, yeah so it, it comes third but it takes a lot of time it talks most of the time when i was in 11th and 12th i studied 16 to 18 hours a day Yeah so all my day I was studying Study. studying studying that's it that was my life I think it yeah I think it's a, I I was like you when I was uh, like in um uh, 13 years old uh-huh. I was studying like 16 hours a day or something 13 years old uh 13 yeah wow wow but I got sincere about studying when I was in when I was in 10th so the change came when i was in when i was probably 15 or 16 then the change really came no i i changed when i joined the university i began to study less oh huh. that's that's strange but to 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 join a, a, a good faculty or a good university uh, the most important thing is your high school so you have you have to get the best grade and for your information Yeah. <laughs> I got I got first on high school in Egypt. Wow, wow. All over Egypt. All over Egypt. All over Egypt, yeah. I came first. In Egypt. So, which year? Sorry? Which year? Like which year? Year. Which year? Yeah. 2016. 16. 2016. Yeah. If I look you like 2016 Egypt high school topper. I should be there. Should I look it up right now? I think uh, yeah, but do you think the, uh, I don't think Egypt will provide names for such? No, a, but no. you can search. Should I? No, no, you can I, search. I should or not? Tell me. I I am, but 2016, there is a problem with two thousand sixteen Egypt G Y P T top ranker like high school top ranker high school okay yeah. S C H. Top ten schools in Cairo. No, no, no. It is not showing any photos or anything like that. 
Yeah, this is a problem in Egypt. They don't like put things like this on YouTube, on uh, on Google. Yeah, but, but you can search. I I would be int- I would be in- interested to see what you will find. I- I'll believe you. I'll believe you. I don't need to search. No, no, no. Search, search. What? What should I search? I know Egypt is like fucking. They are not like doing documentaries for this. But yeah, you have to believe me. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, it's it's okay. <laughs> ah, I can't believe you. Why would you lie? Right? Do you have a reason to lie? I don't have a reason to lie. Yeah, yeah exactly. Then you are telling the truth. So. Yeah. Or 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 I'm not. It's not important. But yeah, I say like. If you want to believe it, it's okay. If you don't, it's okay. But uh, I got I got first on high school in Egypt, like 2016. Which grade? Tenth grade, tenth class, high school. It's like the final year on high school. Twelfth grade, twelfth <laughs> class. What do you call it? Twelfth. 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 Yeah. Twelfth. Wow. And which subjects did you take? Math, Arabic, first Arabic, math. English, physics, uh, chemistry, math, French, Ara- math, Arabic, English, physics, chemistry, and French. French, yeah. Physics, French. Which one was your favorite? Uh, I don't have favorite. Oh, so you liked them equally. They they were like similar to me. Mm-hmm. Equally, you like them e- equally. And math, math is 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 it's like special. four. No, four four uh, four subjects. It's like calculus. Oh, algebra, calculus, d- calculus algebra, uh-huh. uh, mechanics, statics, statistics, Statis- Not statistics. St- um, statics. Statics. Uh, no, no. Mechanics. Mechanics consists of dynamics and statics. Oh, yeah. Dynamics. The when the body is in motion and steady. Statistics. Statics. Oh no, no it's statics. No. And the object static. is in rest. Statics. No. Right? Moving. Moving is dynamic. Uh, yeah. Like fixed is uh, static. static. Yeah. So, for example, when a when a box is on the table and I apply a force of. Mm-hmm. Like five newtons to this box and mm-hmm. so on. So the, we have in in math itself, we have four uh, splits. So it was like a horrible year. It's just like, <laughs> but I, I I survived this year and I got a scholarship in uh, on I think the best university in Egypt. Um, I got a full a full time scholarship. And. Um, it's called the, the German University in Cairo. Mm. That's why I came to Germany after I finished uh, high school. Like you got the yeah. scholarship, that means scholarship. you have to pay less. I uh, full scholarship. Full col- full scholarship. Yeah. That's why you are not studying hard. That's why what? That's yeah. why you are Maybe, not studying yeah, hard. Yeah. That's the reason exactly. <laughs> So if I had to, if it was like, uh, if it was like a normal university, this is a private university. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's not like, a, it's not a public, public university. Public one, yeah. Okay. So uh, it was like an easy life, oh. a very good, uh, very good university, and it was very good. So you didn't need to study hard as before. <laughs> this is not good, I I, I admit, but mm-hmm. yeah, that's how it went. Mm. And uh, yeah, wow, full scholarship like they are paying you for your dorm, right? Door, transportation, study, even everything. The transportation, wow, food, food is you have a pocket money, and food you is food, right? Money. No, no, they are not giving food, they, are, they give you money, a pocket money, pocket and money. you buy your food. How much do you pay? Yeah. I, I, how much do they pay to you? <clears throat> I think it was like um, uh, in, in Egyptian bound, it's like two thousand Egyptian bound every 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 month. Every month, two thousand every month. Two thousand is like it's good for an adult to live a good life in Egypt. Good life. I do, I I don't know how to convert it from 
Egyptian currency to Indian currency. But I can. Two thousand. You can. You can do. You can do the if uh, you have. Uh, what is what is the currency called? EGB, Egyptian pound. Uh, spell it. From Egyptian, E G Y. E G Y. Egypt. E G Y B. Okay. P. Egypt currency. Egypt currency, for example. For, Egypt say, currency is four two, Indian rupees equal to four Indian rupees. Okay, so one it's Egyptian, eight. Thousand. Huh? One Indian, one Egyptian pound. They are calling it Egyptian pound. Is equal to four Indian rupees. No, no, it's it's now four, but it like five years ago it was like uh, maybe it's like seven or ten mm. rupees because the uh, Egyptian pound is going down. So Indian, Indian, that time, Indian rupees are also kind of going down. So inflation is happening. Yeah, no, no, no. But this time, this time in Egypt, like the last ten years. Mm -hmm. The bound value is 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 decreasing a lot. Decreasing. Very very fast. Yeah, against uh, US dollar. We have some problems in the economy and and we have we had a revolution in the last two revolutions in the last ten years. So um, okay, that's why. So we you can say I was taking like ten thousand rupees every month. Uh -huh. yeah, is it good uh, or 2000 to 2000 into 4 8000 almost 10000 let's say no 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 S say it was like before before the decrease in currency it was like 5 okay so it's, it's like 10, if you 10, say 10000 rupees and you you are getting good food out of this uh in germany actually i was getting food i wasn't in germany i was in egypt like you are not right now in Germany and you are getting paid. no, 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 no. This I was I, I said about the um, the bachelors. I finished bachelors. The bachelors was full time, uh, full time scholarship, scholarship. full and scholarship. The masters, they are not. The masters not. They are not. Oh, I got it totally wrong. I thought the masters. No, no. Is, okay. The five years bachelors are full scholarship. Okay. Okay. The masters are not like you have to pay for the masters. In Germany, you don't pay for uh, for study. You don't pay. In Germany, yeah, uh, university is uh, is free. Free. Yeah. Awesome. Is it a free education? Free education, like in India, if you are st studying in a private university, you have to pay a lot. No, no, I'm studying in public university in Germany. Yeah. So. It's free. The private is in Egypt. Ah, so. You know? Ah. Private bachelors in Egypt. Public masters in Germany. Germany. But you have to pay for where you live, right? You ha yeah, for where you live and what you eat. and. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is you work. You work as a part-time beside your you are study. Also and... What are you doing yeah? then? Computer science. No, no, no. What are you like working? Part time. Uh, I'm doing different tasks for uh, in a research center. So uh, it's like hmm. they ask you to do different IT things. So to write some algorithms to do certain stuff. So I do this. How did you get the job? You apply for a job and you get oh, it. Oh wow! Wow! Like how did you get to know that there is a job opportunity like that? You search and you know LinkedIn. You know LinkedIn. No. Okay. LinkedIn is a website uh, where um, professional people, mm. not professional, everyone is working, like in 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 anything in computer science, engineering, uh, anything. Anyone who has a uh, what's it called proficiency. Who, is, who has a job, like write a portfolio or like some kind of CV in this website, mm -hmm. like Facebook and Google, anything. Mm -hmm. You can search it, write LinkedIn. Uh, can you spell it? L I N. L I N. K. K. 
you are writing on on our... yeah yeah i'll take a screenshot after that yeah okay no i i mean you can open google and write it I, i'll write later not now okay so it's linked then l i n k e d e d i n link i n right exactly but there is a space between linked and then or not it will not matter google will understand you linked okay i think it's like linkedin dot in is it like that maybe and your phone is getting a message right yes like yes. it's vibrating and that kind of stuff it's vibrating yeah it will consume more power if you keep it yeah it's it's getting it's getting a message from from thousands of kilometers away yeah but it will like uh, yeah. so this link then you can find the job you can search mm. for jobs so you write all all your experiences uh, where you worked before where did you study is and everything mm -hmm. and it's just like connecting um uh, people mm. to companies so wow. it's a uh, couple it's a couple yeah it's so link software uh, linkedin it's like link linking people together linking people to companies and it has different functionalities but the most important one is you write your achievements on your profile so that companies can see it and they can offer you a job or you can search for a job in their uh, profile okay this is how the matching happened you got the job because you had done your bachelor's uh no even even people who are doing bachelor's here they you got a job as well it's a student job it's called the student job student job student job yeah okay cool so how much time do you spend on this job 20 hours per, per week. week per week 20 hours per week 7 days almost 2 and 1/2 hours every day on average no no for for hours every day for hours every day if, if you exclude the uh, weekend wow yeah 2 hour 2 hour and a half every every day are you getting enough time to like study if you spend 4 hours every day you have to deal with it You can do it. You can do it like in two days. You work eight hours, eight hours, and four hours, and you have you have the rest of the days and the weekends you where you study. It's it's like uh, stressful sometimes, but you have to deal with it to have money mm -hmm. to pay your bills. Yeah. If you don't want to depend on your parents, then I don't. Yeah, you don't depend. Yeah, I'm not. They just give me the first like push, and I'm depending on myself. That's now. very good. Like, I think from an R, if you can, you can, if you can be independent from an early age, I think that's better than depending on parents. Yeah, man, it, it's uh, it's 24 years old. It's not early age. I mean, not. I mean, for some people. Yeah, like some I, people I, some people do or work on grocery stores from 16, 15, mm -hmm. and they earn a lot of money. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. It's I think good. Electronic stores? No, gro grocery stores, like grocery. Yeah. No, th there is some ki some different kind of guys who are doing the some their electronic stores, and they are millionaires. <laughs> My knowledge is very shallow. I don't know all yeah. about this. They are doing uh, marketing and uh, online shopping and so on. So they are making a lot of money. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay, bro. I think we might meet again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Now I'll go and eat some food. I am really hungry at this point. Yeah, yeah. I'm you really you don't fuck. I'll drink some water. I'll eat some food. Yeah. Well, you you have to you have to prepare for fasting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bro. Nice okay. to meet you and good luck. And take care of yourself. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.
Uh, do you have Instagram? Uh, no, sorry, I don't. Okay. okay. So maybe we we'll, we we'll meet by chance some other day. We can meet, maybe.